I mean, the thing is, Ryan, every cat has three names. Every cat has three names. How did that even... I, I don't None of them had three names. None of them had three names. They all had one name. Like, Magical Mr. Mistopheles, is that... Which of the three names is that? I think that's... His name... I don't know. Everyone had one name. Not the best world building going on in cats. No. Welcome to No One Can Know About This, a podcast where we play every Final Fantasy. I'm Jeff Ekman. And I'm Ryan Kazmiski. And here we go, Season 5, Episode 12. It's a big one. Oh, here we go. It's a very important episode of No One Can Know About This. A lot of things are going to happen. What happened last week? Oh, who cares? We went to a castle. Oh, yeah, we took back (laughs) Finn Castle. And where we're at is we're in Paul's house. Paul has the advice for us to go back up to the top of the castle because there's a secret door. Right, and this we is got all, all these words we learned, like Akume and stuff. This is all leading up to we got to go to Mesidia and do like the whole Mesidia and find Min. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I hope you all are prepared for a big week. Here we go. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what to say. Surprises wait ahead. We hope you like this. Enjoy. Ancient books of Mesidia would be very useful in fact. City and Secrets are nigh. The Hall of Mirrors. Huh. The people in Finn Castle are telling us about all sorts of things. Mysidia is out there. There's the- something called a Hall of Mirrors. And there's some treasure rooms in the castle. Death. Break. Toad. These are high level spells, my friend. Nice. We're going to have to start losing spells. Uh-huh. Okay, so use the upper right corner of the audience chamber in the throne room. So yeah, Paul told us, head back to the top of the throne room here in Finn Castle, so we go there. Yeah, now we can say, go away. Secret passage. Pretty cool. Here we go. We say the secret word to the wall, and there's a passageway from the throne room that leads to a dungeon. Man, that would be fucking so hard to figure out. Yeah, no kidding. Well, we figured it out. We went to Paul's house and you said top right corner. Yeah, yeah, I know, but just the fact that you have to, like, say it, you know what I mean? Like, I would be walking around in the top right corner, like, what do I... But it said, they told us that we have to say Akume. Yeah, that, that's true, I know. Honestly, I, I think I solved it, like, oh, right, without any You help. did, you did, you're right. So, Finn Castle, when we first got here, we were like, oh, it's not a dungeon. Mm-hmm. But, surprise, there's a secret a, dungeon. It has a side dungeon. <laughs> okay, now we're in random encounter land. I don't think so. It's shit. Oh, yes, we are. Okay. Oh, boy. What? It just looks like there's a lot of floors of this. I mean, am I checking these, these rooms? Here, let me, uh... Yeesh. So I start reading the walkthrough, because this dungeon seems large. Too big to navigate on our own. Mm-hmm. Even many of the chests that you find offer mundane healing items. All the doors, with the exception of one on the bottom floor, lead to empty rooms. I've started adding spinach to my ramen a lot. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. That sounds good. It is good. Kind of like how they have seaweed. Yeah, it's like adds to that, but in a be- in an even better way. A regular potion. Floor four. I think this is the most looking ahead we've ever done in any of these games. Like, I'm literally looking at it. Fuck! Like, at this point, I don't even care about the spoilers. Cause what, why are we spoiling? Like, like that twist that Hilda wasn't Hilda? Yeah, I, it's not very Whoa. exciting. Whoa! You're welcome, everybody. And that's the show. We got it. I'm just feeding good material over here. Usable clips. Fuck, can't he shoot his bow and arrow? I'll give it to him. They made a full Final Fantasy game within a year. They did. They they swung for the fences, man. And I'll tell you what, this still feels bigger than fucking 15. It does feel bigger than 15. So much more has happened in this game than it happens in all of 15. <laughs> Jesus... Good Jesus God, fuck Christ. this one, man, <laughs> this fight sucks. Like, these fights just take so long. This one has two Wiz Ogres, two Great Ogres, and two Adamantuses. Enemies that we have, through the season, complained about fighting one of <laughs> at certain points. It's uh, just beating me into the ground. Yeah, and you need to This heal. area's not even that t- t- difficult. I, I just... Maybe you don't need to heal. I could fight. I, I'm tired enough that if I closed my eyes, I could probably drift off <laughs> while they're fighting. I anybody. know, I know. There's plenty of time to check Twitter. My God, this is going to take a million years. <laughs> Are they particularly weak to anything? Fire all of them. 
Oh yeah, they're gonna love that sound. <laughs> I wish we lived in slurp culture. Well, everybody, we should go to Japan where they slurp. Is anybody with us on this slurp thing? Honestly, I feel like etiquette, like no slurping and stuff, are like rules invented by like psychological manipulators in the past. Like the first king, probably like before we even had that notion, was like at the dinner table and learned he could drink without slurping, and uh, then pointed out that everyone else was slurping and was like, you, "All of you are bad." Oh, the, <laughs> it's just like adding to the stacks and stacks of absurd well, rules. Let's remove let's that we start, have to tangle ourselves up in so that we can never really rise up. You know what I mean? Start removing the stigma that's been associated with slurping in this culture by doing some of it on our podcast. I agree. I think if we could get rid of slurp shaming and daylight savings time, uh -huh. the, the proletariat would rise up. <laughs> <laughs> mm, pork belly. Delicious. David! What I the don't... fuck, dude? I don't know. Like, what's going on? I don't know Where'd we get the blood sword? I got it in a chest. Sweet. Layla had a shield. You know? Mm-hmm. You ever think about that? You ever think? I was thinking about it a little earlier, and then I immediately forgot about it and didn't think about it again. Haley, I don't want you licking the floor beneath my feet. Haley, come here. But if you wish, you can kind of smell my breath. Come here. Come here. <laughs> I'm a benevolent ruler. <laughs> My requests are reasonable, <laughs> and my gift's bountiful. Come smell my breath. <laughs> Come smell his breath. Where am I going? Okay, hold on. Go over to the right. You're going to the top right corner of this room, basically. Oh, I just realized that the stalactites have now become full columns. Because they've reached the ground. <laughs> That's how big they are. That's kind of cute. What's the matter, Haley? She's sleepy and she wants soup. Is that what's the matter? I think that is exactly the matter. Gold chimeras or chimeras, whichever. Yeah, one of the two. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, come come up here. Haley was sleepy, but she can go from sleepy to excited, like, in an instant. Would it be nice to be on that kind of time cycle? Like, a dog sleeps for, like, ten minutes and then is, like, fully alert for, like, maybe <laughs> twenty and then and then can just get a quick nap like in. the Kramer and... idea, where he, like, just is trying to, like, sleep 20 minutes out of every hour? No, it was, like, something else. Something. I have a friend who did that. <laughs> How so did that it work he could play it, Well, he uh, was the first one to reach Jedi in that Star Wars MMO. Seems like it... It worked it. out great. <laughs> Put it in my hand. There you go, close enough. Wasn't really Enough energy to throw the old ball around. So Finn Castle's dungeon is very much like the others, where you come across a thing that has six doors. Yeah, just like a wall full of doors. It's the second one from the right, like that one we can barely see on the edge of the screen. Uh, to play with a guy. This is living, man. Is it still playing? We're on easy street. This is so cool. Crazy. Like, I don't need this pendant anymore, guys. <laughs> I don't need it. Yeah, we're at a point now where if we even want to open a chest, we have to throw an item away. Because it's like, like more than half of the inventory space is fucking key items. It is. It helps me talk to the Haru, and they're dead now. There's no more Haru. Throw Haru. the pendant away. Haru. Do you think that... That Haru will be born and we'll get to ride that around instead of an airship. I don't know. What am I gonna throw away? Everything's <laughs> valuable. Throw away the one of these maiden or kisses. Or Chun. Or, you know, the maiden's kiss or I'm whatever. Throwing away a maiden's kiss. Alright, we got the W mask. Now we have one fewer item slot. Forever. We've got both masks. We do. It's time to head back to talk to the princess. We're gonna have to go to Mysidia. We're gonna. The end goal is Mysidia. I know that much. Oh, it teleported us. It teleported us, my friend. <sighs> Why don't they always do it? We almost got a hundred k. Keep it cool, Haley. <laughs> Hilda says, "Take the white mask to Mysidia." Okay. Gordon says the Emperor hasn't been active recently. He must be planning something. Hmm. I want. Do you think in this game everything we're gonna try to do will fail? Probably. 
It says get the ultimate magic as soon as possible. So, how do we get to Mycidia? We don't know. We don't know. How do we know? How do we find out? Oh, but you know what? We can know. I can know right now. I know, but like, can we, how would we know? I, I don't know. Let's see if we can go there by boat. Like, go see where we haven't been by boat. And okay. You want me to take over and get the ship? If you want. Yeah. I was gonna do it. I was just looking at the guy myself. No, you just did a big chunk. Immediately attacked by bees. Yeah, it's inside the giant, the spiral of mountains southeast. The Mycidian Cave is inside the spiral. Okay. Yeah, we're heading to an area that has three Mycidias in it. There's mm-hmm. the town, there's the cave, and then there's the tower. Yeah, and we just kind of know the word Mycidia, so we're not sure which one. All Mycidias have three names. I mean, we're coming up on the last stuff. I know. Haley, I demand that you come hang out with us. Yeah, come come hang. Come no, on. Don't stop for that. Come here. Get your <laughs> come fucking here. ass up here. Come here. There you are. Oh, there you a, are. What a... She got her ass up here. There you go. What a good girl. Exactly where I wanted you to. Good girl. Fuck this potion. Oh, okay. Uh, it was over. It was short-lived. All right, there's the boat. They got us to the boat. She's like, I did you a favor. Now it's your turn. We're in Boatland. Boatland. Welcome to Boatland. So back on the boat, it's time to find the correct Mycidia. Yeah, it's going to be a long voyage down around the continent and then back up under it. (laughs) Around the world. Mm -hmm. Where the fuck? I think you either go up. I don't know if it's faster to go up and around or down and around. Um, Ryan? What? Didn't there used to be random encounters on the ocean? Okay, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so we go to Mycidia Tower. Yeah, it's, it's going to take us a second to realize this isn't the correct Mycidia. We still can't walk in. Uh, this place. We came here. Yeah. And we were like, what the fuck is this? It's nothing. Now it's something. <laughs> it should be? It isn't. Maybe, maybe I made a bad assumption. Hold on. <sighs> There's some weird guys on this. Not right now, Haley. Bring it over. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you're killing me, Smalls. Yeah, you're killing me, Haley. Yeah, it's like a weird inn on the side of the Oh, thing. shit. I was reading this map wrong. Damn it. Because they said that you could walk to it, I said, in the walkthrough. Yeah. And you were like... My bad. It's this place that it is. I misread the map. Yeah, These trying. guys are crazy. That's what's on this island of this tower. Fuck you, enemies. What is this tower? Um, what were you uh, reading wrong if you read the map? It's and Mycidia, you Mycidia Tower. Oh, and we have Which to go to Mycidia Which is different from Mycidia. Yeah, no, 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 yeah. I know. Yeah, I think we're gonna go to Mycidia, and then to Mycidia Cave, and then to Mycidia Tower, maybe? Oh. This fight's been going on for so long. <laughs> they have like thousands and thousands of HP. Yeah, look at these chonksters. These fucking chonky boys. It's on the left of this big circle down there, like on the outside of it. And then the cave is in the center. In the of it. center, yeah. The city is not far. The town and the cave, I mean. Yeah, once we get the lay of the land, it's like, okay, we're mentally prepared. We're going to go to the town, and then we're going to go to the cave, and then we will go to the tower. So we start making our way to the town, which is on the continent to the south. Wait, I think it's the, I think it's the other way. Whoa. Ghosts. Ghosts. And he's ghosts. Ah! Ah! They're mini-ing us. Yeah. Dude! dude. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Are we little? We're mini. Look at how much that healed her. Oh, he came back. Did you see that? Not much at all, right? Like, nothing. I've also been noticing that when I cure people, the amount that it cures them varies wildly. Is that because her magic defense is really high or something? No, I think it's just a fucking roll of the dice that ranges, like, a range that is mind-boggling. Like, give me a lower... High end, like a lower low end. I mean, a higher low end. God damn it! I don't think the Empire can can burn their way through this continent. You know? Not, yeah, I don't think they have what it takes to kill them. God, these guys! I killed one of them earlier. How are they not dead? Jesus. Okay, they're finally dying. That fight was ridiculous. And David's MP might have gone up, except for the fact that he's cursed. 
Haley, be fucking careful. Haley, get away from there. It's come to this yet again. We're almost to Mesidia Town, and we're in fights with werewolves and zombies and stuff, and they're long fights. We should have some kind of thing that indicates how much time is passing, but like... We can get like a whole group of dudes and go tick tock, tick tock. Oh, that would be fun. All the best TV shows do that. Yeah. Fuck! Shit! Oh. God damn it! Well, Haley just bumped the power cord. Yep, and it, it turned off and turned back on. <laughs> did you do that? No, she did! How? What did she do? I don't know, she bumped the power cord! The machine has been reset. And Haley is sitting there with the ball in front of her, looking up at us happily. With that look in her eyes, like, somebody, if somebody doesn't throw this ball, I feel like something terrible is going to happen. Haley, come, come here. Come here. Haley, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I was going to give it a save when that fight was over. See, I just fucking threw that ball in anger. <laughs> oh, man. So that was a lot of time lost, but, you know, for this game, not that not much. Not that. We would just have to walk back and get the boat, really. <sighs> we can be done. It's worse than that. that. Oh, fuck. Oh, what? What, ha what happened? What? Oh my god. Wait, what just happened? The, the save got corrupted. It deleted the save. That's right. The save files are are empty. We open up... Except for one. There's yeah, an there's old save left. Save file two somehow didn't get corrupted, but, like, I'm in such shock when I see this that I don't even have a freakout reaction to this. I go silent, and I'm actually speechless at what I'm seeing. I remember just feeling like I just can't even care. Like what? Like of course this happened. I mean, but like we were uh, warned to hold the reset button when well, shutting off even, the power. We even saw that one save file disappear. That's like true. it could even be that this cartridge, since it's not an official like game, it has like, some is, funkiness has to some it. Funky, some funk, yeah. But there you have it. We are sitting there looking at. I think Haley had her best interest in mind. Some empty save <laughs> slots. That's what the thing, the warning was about. Don't, like, hold the reset button when power. I think so. Oh my god, I can't even, I can't even think Whoa. about this. Whoa. It corrupted two other saves. <sighs> yeah. But one is still there. I want to see when this is. This is... Haley, I don't give a shit right now. Get the, I'm not going to throw this ball for you. I need to process this. This is probably like we're about to do the tropical cave. Yeah, we're standing outside the tropical cave. It's a pretty long time. I mean, we ago. haven't done Castle Dist, which took us so long. And I mean, we cannot overstate how much of the last half of this season we've been editing out because most of it we stopped saying yeah. anything. You may notice the first episode starts almost real time. Right. And then you lose track of that. <laughs> By the time you get to this point, most of it is cut. Well, because in the first episode, we didn't even <laughs> know learn by yeah. the end of it. Mm -hmm. At this point, we were just plowing ahead because the momentum had picked up. There's like hours of recordings of us going like, oh, I hate these fights. Yeah, and we were just like, at this point, who the fuck needs to hear that? Yeah. And think about how many times you heard us say that in the show. I know. How many times we did keep it. <laughs> Can you imagine how many times we cut it? Anyway. This was, yeah, that's, it's like, ugh, it's a long way back. Which was so many hours ago. Oh my god. I might throw up. And fine, I'll throw the ball for you. So, what... So that means that we've lost all of today and most of yesterday? Or most of the last day? Pretty much all of the day before, too, yeah. All oh, that shit was so hard, too. It was really hard. I think what we lost is pushing 10 hours of gameplay. Well... We don't say we're a podcast where we beat every Final Fantasy. Oh my god. We have played this. 
I'm just saying, I hate this game. What if? What if we did? <laughs> what if we really did? What if we really I'm did? I'm considering it, because fuck, man, I mean... I mean, we can read through the rest of this fucking walkthrough. Ten more... To, to get back to where we were, to do a whole day of ketchup. I mean, I can't... Right now, I can't even stomach. I well, can't. no, I mean, we're done for today. No, no, I know, but, like, I can't even make the decision. No, I can't, I know, I know, I know. Corrupted save files is something that I've heard about a lot on the internet, and I've never actually run into myself. Mm -hmm. And they're legendary for basically ending playthroughs of massive JRPGs. <laughs> yeah. Like, people make it really far two-thirds of the way in. Something like this happens, and they're like, and I just didn't have it in me to get all the way back there and do it again. And it's a shame. It's a goddamn <laughs> shame. I mean, we were on bullet point 37 of 51. It, yeah, on the walkthrough I've been using, we were even closer than that. You mentioned earlier having an asterisk on this game. Because at the moment, if we were to make the decision right now, my my thought would be, I've, I've grown and changed through this podcast. Fuck this. I don't have to do anything. I don't want to play this again. That was... I feel that. I feel that way. That was too. really crazy. Like, we've had some crazy setbacks. Like, oh. uh, when we thought we had lost all that audio in season three. That's true. But, like, even that, like, that was, like, four or five hours into the game. Yeah, it wasn't that total much. Total of a game that we liked. Yeah. And you don't have to... This is... So much of this is going to be grinding. Like, just to get our numbers back up. We had come so far in terms of leveling. from Like, Slam has more than double the health. I think he's got even more than that. Because he was at 1,300. Yeah. And I think now they're all around, like, 400. God damn it. It's not like any of it will be easier because we've done it. No, I know. That's, that, that's ex it's hilarious. You just read my mind. Like, that was the exact kind of thinking that I, I was it's like... It's like, we know what to do now, but that doesn't... That's, like, not a factor. Yeah, it's not like... And Kashun Keep, if you remember, we got through it, like... Barely. Barely doesn't begin to describe how... No, it. I remember. We're confusing Kashun Keep with Castle Dist right. and all the Haru stuff. But what I'm saying about it actually is true of both of them. <laughs> it's... Well, that's true, too. Yeah, no, there's, like, some huge dungeons. I'm... I'm certain that she bumped the power cable. I mean, I'm... I couldn't tell what happened. I just... I... It, it was so fast. Why did it not corrupt this save file, too? Because if it did that, that would make this choice even easier. I mean, I don't know. It just got, like, a power surge through it. And some... And, and some were... Three of the four slots got fried. Yeah. Surprise finale, everybody! Ugh. And now knowing that can happen, that can just happen. That could happen again. And actually, it seems likely, since this is actually the second time this happened. Yeah, the it first happened time, before this. It just didn't corrupt the save we were using. <laughs> like, but yeah, this is the second time. I've heard legends of shit like this happening, and I've never come across it, and I've always been, like, hubristically like, I bet it'll never happen. Yeah, I'm with you, Haley. Bad Monday. We just added eight to ten hours to this game if we do it, if we continue and the question is, like, does that make it not worth it to continue? Yeah. This season was already turning out longer than I wanted. Yeah, that's how I felt. At a certain point, there will be no added value. It's just going to be us going, like, yeah, and then you still got to walk, and it takes like, yeah, forever. What the fuck? Like, are we going to be like, like, I mean, let's say we get a five bats moment. Even if we got that, I don't give a shit. Like, it's like, I'm so not invested in this story. We've never met lions! We'll have to talk about it tomorrow. Maybe we take the recorder out to breakfast and discuss it. You know, I mean, like, what do you guys want to hear? Really? You want to hear us go be like, oh, Hilda's back. Like, like, what is, like, the payoffs to that, seeing the rest of the story is so... You know well, what they want to hear. We'll get the airship. FF8. They want to hear FF8. <laughs> they want to hear us flip a coin right now. Maybe play FF3. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> no! Oh, that means we're closer to the coin flip, too? That's scary. Oh, shit. That would just be the worst. And how are we doing three? Same way as this. Get, a, get it loaded on a cartridge? Yeah. Oh, wow. I don't know how to feel about that. It's like, I, on the one hand, we can just be done with this game, and on the other hand, fuck. I was so close to getting healed a level three. <laughs>
This just sucks. That's all this does. Everything about this season sucks. <clears throat> Let's go to sleep, Haley. We were really progressing at a good clip. We were. I was like, we're steamrolling through the last like three or four things. Not really dying a lot. <sighs> I'm curious about the Hall of Mirrors. Like, it's so disastrous that I can't even, like, get emotionally upset about it like I used to. What can we do to cheer us up? Just don't know, new Picard. I know. I want to, I want to watch I something. want every show to just be a Sunday show. Like, what, just give me all the shows at the beginning of the week. And then let me And I'll decide. watch them. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'll definitely decide to space them out. I won't just sit down and watch, like, nine hours of TV. And then go, months. fuck. <laughs> I won't do that. Oh, that's pretty unsatisfying for... Yeah, I... God. I don't feel like that can be the end of the season. Or maybe it can. I don't fucking know. I know. But like That's that... where I'm at. I'm like, it feels like it shouldn't. But also, what if it was? And wouldn't that be interesting? Yeah. But, but maybe that's me. So. But also, I mean, are we deluding ourselves by saying that we have to play Final well, Fantasy 2? Yeah, like, we are. I mean, what if the rest of the season was like we go fishing? Yeah. Life? What if the what if the rest like, of the, the rest season, of the season is... is like we fuck off and do something? Like for a few episodes, we like live life and like go. That could be great. Or, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like we actually leave the ship like it all behind. We should be clear that we are not fishermen yeah. in any way, shape, or For form. For some reason, we, we've we talked about it a lot, but Jeff and I don't like go fishing all the time on the weekends or I, something. When I was at camp, they had a fishing boat that I went out on I, a couple of times. I just love that Like whenever we're tired of being inside, we're like, why are we out fishing? <laughs> <laughs> and go drive somewhere and just keep driving. Go see all the museums we haven't seen. Yeah. Go... No cat goes to the beach. No cat goes to the beach. No cat eats a hot dog. I don't know. No cat gets involved with self-improvement and fitness. No cat does something that isn't awful. That's what I mean, like... What... <laughs> you want to hear another uh, long, calm-yourself nerd post about Final Fantasy VII Remake? Yes, please. It's titled, Later content from the trailer looked rushed and bad. In parentheses, an honest moment of skepticism. <laughs> I already man mentioned this elsewhere, but the longer I dwell... He's more, already mentioned it elsewhere. The more I realize there's genuine reason to worry about the consistency of this game's quality. Oh Why? My God. It may be too harsh, perhaps unfair, but let's consider that latest trailer. Wow. G disregarding the obvious changes to the game's Just story... Just wait for the game... And whether we think those will improve or diminish the enjoyment of it as a remake, a few parts struck me as just poorly put together. Take a look at Leviathan, for instance. <laughs> Compared to the previous summons, he looks terrible. Barely any detail on him. Just forming a half-texture, looking bl block of blue, pastel blue. Side by side with other headliner summons, it's super noticeable and raises an eyebrow. As I watched the rest of the trailer, well, where else do the later assets seem to dip? This is what I love about the internet, is you can, like, be inside somebody's head. Like, <laughs> this guy seems pretty intelligent. Like, this is well written. And he's, like, thought so long about this. About the assets that are supposed to come later in the game that were shown off in the trailer. It raises an eyebrow. It's like, <laughs> it's like he's making a case that, like, this might not have been a suicide. There's a few details here. Like, he's, like... <laughs> The official story, don't believe it. And then almost immediately after we get the Genova fight, stuck like a pillar in the middle of a room with tentacles poking up, like the laziest of PS2 era boss fights. Now I don't claim to know the full extent of this fight, but that's not a promising clip if this is the highlight of a very end game encounter. Additionally, this guy's this, already taken too much of my time. I'm hesitant to call it rushed out, but those words are knocking at the back of my mind. Well, good for him. Yeah. Nobody agrees. <laughs> you ever hear about would you rather bot? No. It poses a would you rather question, but it's a bot. So this one's, would you rather all toilets be made of guacamole or nobody wash their hands? I'd rather nobody wash their hands. Than all toilets be made of guac? Yeah, that's just not... You just can't. Viable. You just can't do that. Wow, most people, seventy-three percent of people say they want toilets made of guac. 
That would be so much more disgusting than having people, people want dirty people hands. washing their hands. This was pre-pandemic. Does your answer change now that like COVID's a thing? It does not, and that does. That's not to say I, everyone should wash their hands. This is serious. Like we haven't talked about it a lot on the show because this should be a refuge. But right from that, yeah. but like you can't. No, you, what do you mean a guacamole <laughs> toilet? Like I think that would be so unsanitary and cause its own diseases. You, what? Explain to me. You disagree? You think we should have guacamole toilets instead of people washing their hands? No, I don't. I yeah, really okay. don't. Yes, yeah, because like, what do you mean? How do you sit on a guacamole toilet? <laughs> guacamole toilet. Guacamole toilet. Guacamole toilet. <laughs> hey, if dogs had hands, they could make guacamole toilet table side. Oh god. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> we brought it all the way back around. People think washing your hands is It's important, really but important. having a toilet that isn't just a rotting pile of smashed up avocado <laughs> is, I would think, more... Like, what agree. are bathrooms even for You're now? You're sitting into the guac. You're sitting on the guac. <laughs> your ass has got guac all yeah, up on no. it. Yeah, no. Man. Uh, I really wish we could just fucking pick up from where we just were like i just want to do the mesidia thing i just want to like i'll do the rest of it yeah i mean i'll serve my time but don't add 10 hours onto my sentence it's not fair you can't just do that this is maybe the worst day in well i think part of it too is this is the first final fantasy we've played that we do not want to play in any capacity you know what i mean like even we the didn't first want to one play, well, yeah we, had, yeah, but we, we wanted to see. start the project yeah yeah exactly. you know yeah it, all right, we'll, we'll talk about it at breakfast tomorrow. So we ended that night uh-huh. in a pretty rough state of mind. I re- Yeah, I really was like, how can we even move forward? Well, let's see what we decided on. The next morning, we went out for breakfast to discuss what the fuck are we going to do. <laughs> All right, Haley, you're coming. Breakfast time. We're going to go get a bagel. Haley, guess what? I have your dog food. Oh, yeah, I still haven't taken and that out. And report card. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I had been gone for the weekend, so Haley was away at daycare. I haven't <laughs> I haven't taken that out of the car yet. Beautiful Miss Haley had a wonderful weekend getaway with us here at Wagville. Your gal enjoyed a much-needed vacation to pamper herself. We spent most of her time strolling around the playground, cuddling up on the cots, getting lots of love from her human buddies, and sunbathing outside. Her best buddies this day were Ellie the Aussie, Jackson the Lab, and Zion the Shepherd Mix. I'm convinced that uh, she doesn't play with any dogs, and then they're like, ah, pick two dogs and say that she played with them. I like that this is like you went to a parent-teacher conference, and the teacher was like, oh yeah, Haley's great. She gets along well with everyone. She has friends, and you were like, bullshit. Haley doesn't doesn't have friends. She doesn't like other kids. I'm sure out of all of the dogs, there's some dog she gets along with, right? Also, how do they know that she need needed a much needed pampered getaway? How did they don't know what she's been up to? I mean, maybe they know dogs so well that you bring her in there and they're like, oh, are they, "This dog is overworked. She needs some fucking." <laughs> you know what's funny is they actually offer dog massage at that place. Oh yeah, and it's a dollar a minute. <laughs> I could be a dog masseuse. Yeah, you could get paid. A dollar, dollar a minute, minute to touch dogs. To touch dog. <laughs> you know, if dogs had hands, they could be the massager. They could massage. They could have trained dogs at Wagville that massage, massage other, other dogs. dogs. Do you imagine a room full of dogs just massaging each other? Like they're like holding hands and like rubbing firmly and like going up and down each other's backs. And there's just like there's like eighty of them and they're all just like panting. Pretty seems That's like a great bad. life. I guess the house probably takes a cut though, right? Like you probably rent your massage chair. Like you pay them. I'm sure, <laughs> yeah. But you know, you're still making like at least thirty to forty bucks an hour, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. Assuming you can constantly be massaging dogs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what are we gonna do? I really. Like, how much do we need to bleed for Final Fantasy II? It's a good question. It's a question. And at what point is it like immature and cringeworthy? And if we already passed that, 
I think we, we were way <laughs> past that long ago. We were really close to the end. It I wasn't know. like we were, you know. No, I think we were probably one session away from beating it. Maybe, I, maybe two. Maybe two. Maybe. You're green. Okay. We could record ourselves watching a Let's Play. I have. That did occur to me last night. But that sounds so crappy. It does. That sounds very shitty. There's also the question of what do we owe to David Lyons what for do... sending us this game? <laughs> I think we've paid our debt to David Lyons, in my opinion. So pretty quickly on this breakfast, I think we both like read each other's vibe uh -huh. that like we're just not going to do it. <laughs> Like, neither of us is trying to talk the other one into, <laughs> into doing, doing it. it. <laughs> There's no voice <laughs> There's... pulling in that direction. No, not one. Have we grown enough to be like, to, to be like, fuck this? Uh, yeah. Well, I think I have. I have too. Well, especially in the case of this game. Oh, sweet. <laughs> hmm? Well, bird just shot on my windshield. Oh. So we get to one of our favorite bagel places here in L.A., there aren't that many good ones. Yeah, but uh, this was my favorite, but I'm not so sure anymore. Uh, have they been slipping here a little? Is your, is your bagel a little, a little not as up to snuff? You know what it is? Place? I asked for a poppy bagel. They gave me a salt bagel. Well, there's that, too. And it's too salty. It's okay. It doesn't seem that bad to me. I don't know. The bagel doesn't seem as doughy. Hmm. When we were up at the cabin, I had designs on wilderness stuff fishing and, and walking in the woods. Maybe that's the move, is doing the stuff we didn't do last season. <laughs> I'm almost thinking that maybe it is. If those I, I'm so excited I know, by this idea I know. of doing something real in real life. I know, it seems really cool. Maybe, yeah, I mean, maybe that's the ultimate growth of the podcast, is we have realized <laughs> that playing video games... <laughs> you don't play them at all that, anymore? <laughs> That there's mo all the other stuff we didn't do because it was harder. Maybe it's not harder. Maybe we should do that instead. Dude, what we've been doing is really fucking hard. I can't stand it. <laughs> Fancy too. It's really it. It puts you in like a just a funk too. Like the the whole nature of the activity is like. What would Haley want to do? Well, I mean, I'm what do cold. you want to do this season, Haley? Haley, what do you want to do? <laughs> Yeah, should we get out of here? She wants to chase birds, yeah. I, I love I mean, your suggestion of the silent retreat. I actually gotta give credit to my girlfriend, <laughs> Katrina, for that. She, I think she said it accidentally. She was like, what if you guys went on a silent retreat? And I was like, oh, perfect. No, that would actually be... And I was hilarious. like, actually, that would be amazing. We had all of this audio of, like, nobody talking. And I know, hear right? people shuffling. And then us just be like, I don't know. I hated this. <laughs> like, what would be the equivalent of Defeating the Emperor. We go to Japan. We go out in front of the square offices. And we demand to know the ending of Final Fantasy 2. <laughs> we yell at them that it's going, too hard to get there on your own. Going to prison in Japan isn't something I want to do. So we decide what we're going to do next. Mm -hmm. And if we do catch a fish, we're going to have to kill it and cut its insides out. Okay. If we catch a fish, we have to eat it. Yeah. Okay. That's the idea. That was, right. Yeah, we got to get fishing licenses, which I think is like 30 bucks or something. Oh, God. It's not hard. You just walk into a building. You can do it like at most marinas. Where do we go fishing? I don't know. I'd ha we'd have to look up some places. I think we should do that. I think we should, too. And that's episode 12 of season 5 of No One Can Know About This. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Join us next week for the big surprise finale. When we go fishing. Look, I mean, I know this isn't what everyone signed up for. It's not what you all wanted us to do. But we're just going to be transitioning genres a little bit here. Go with us. We're going to... It's, it's gonna a journey. Be, it's going to be a fishing podcast. It's also going to still be about Final Fantasy, just through the lens of fishing now. Uh-huh. And, and, you know, sometimes we got to leave childish things behind us, right? And, and Or move take on them with us on a boat. And we'll move see. on to what's the next step, mm -hmm. which is arbitrarily going fishing. Well, it's not arbitrary. We talked about it a lot in the past. Yeah. I almost want to be like, so last week we uh, f <laughs> so finished up the thing, and now uh, join us next week when we do the next thing. The fact of the matter is, I just couldn't stomach replaying 10 to 15 hours of that game to then have 10 to 15 hours left. That's the thing. It and was just too much. I, I know that that's going to be disappointing to a lot of people. 
but I promise you, fishing is going to be great. It, we're, we're moving on to greater frontiers. We're bringing you a new hobby. You can still keep the old one, too. I guess I don't have much to say about it other than shit happens, and you got to roll with the punches. This is a show about what happens to people when they play video games, mm -hmm. and this is the thing that happens to people. They become isolated fishermen. <laughs> I have I have designs on I becoming a hermit save now. Save files get corrupted. But. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so next week we're gonna we're gonna look up we look up a place. Yeah. We, we go there and we, we go to go fishing. We rent some tackle. Join us. We get a, we get ourselves a boat. Rate and review us. We we end up out on a uh, desolate hole that looks like it was dug by tractors out yep. somewhere in the like past the valley. Yep. <laughs> It's going to be good. <laughs> oh, before we go, do you want to check in with the copy boy and see if he's got any messages for us? Yeah. Copy boy, come on in. Copy boy, please, please come here. Wow, he's got 14 different coffee makers on his body right now, oh, each wow. percolating. And that's... So, uh, you know what? That's actually a pretty amazing sound. Yeah. I love the sound of a percolated coffee. And here's 14 of it at once. Thank you so much, Copy Boy. Hand me the message. Give it to me. Thank you. Pour me a cup of coffee. Thank you, Copy Boy. So the message reads, No cat guys, really love the podcast. It really scratches my Final Fantasy itch. Season 2 in particular took me back to being a mind-blown 12-year-old when I first discovered Final Fantasy 2-4. After Final Fantasy 4, my favorite entry in the franchise is Final Fantasy 8, which is why I was absolutely crushed when the coin flip didn't go my way at the end of last season. In light of that, I want to ask, Hey guys, how's FF2 going? Having a good time with endless grinding, indecipherable instructions, and impossibly hard bosses? Wouldn't you be having so much more fun right now with Final Fantasy VIII? You'd be enjoying some of the best concept design, background art, and FMV cutscenes in the series. You'd be navigating the goofy world of a bunch of teenage student mercenaries. You'd be listening to the blissful background music of Balam Town or to Laguna's upbeat techno battle music. You'd get to sink into hours of Triple Triad, the best minigame in the entire franchise. The heavy-handed dialogue of Squall as a moody, edgy teen would furnish you with comedy gold. When you make the coin flip at the end of Season 5 for your next game, remember, no one can actually see the result. I hope you make the right decision. Wink. Chris. Well, thankfully, we are already done with FF2 at this point. Yes. So that nightmare is over. We're, <laughs> we agree that FF2... We really wish that it had gone the other way. We do too. Yeah, I, of course. Those descriptions of FF8 sound delightful. Much better than what we've been doing. But now we've, we're moving on from that. Mm hmm And I guess we'll all just have to see what happens next season. Mm-hmm. Wink. <laughs> oh, man, that's an awesome message. Thank you so much, Chris Kidd, for that. Okay, copy boy, take this message away. Thank you. Oh, we've got a second message today. That's awesome. Yes, give it to me. Thank you. Okay, the message reads... Do you like old movies? Have you never seen a movie older than 1975? Either way, Millennials David and Monica invite you to their new podcast, Maybe Today Matinee. Every episode, they watch an old movie and break it down. From gangster movies to horror to musicals to silent flicks, they find something to love and hate about all kinds of old movies and relate what they find back to the movies and other media we enjoy today. Listen and subscribe to Maybe Today Matinee on all major podcast platforms. That sounds great. I always love going back and like finding old movies because uh, often they're way better. And movies you... like changed around 1975. It's with true. Like the third act being figured out by Jaws or something. And then they were like, all movies need to have that kind of a third act. So you get some weirder shit in the early 70s. Well, I'm not really sure what you're referring to there, <laughs> but I'll take your word for it. But that sounds awesome. All the podcasts I listen to about movies are mostly just like garbage that's churned out by the machine that is today. Right. So exactly. maybe to get some recommendations that'll actually enrich your life, you should go check this out. Yeah, that's maybe today matinee. Thank you so much for that message, and uh, take it away, copy boy. Mm, smells like morning in here. I think he's going to drink all that himself. Somebody better not go to waste. Anyway, if you're interested in a copy boy message, it's pretty late for this season, but we'll be taking them for next season. There will be, a, yeah, the next season. Just email nocappodcast at gmail.com with the subject line message. 
messages are $25 each. We do payments through PayPal, mm-hmm. so just get in touch with us and we'll make it happen. Rate and review us. <laughs> Rate and review us on Apple Podcasts. Hey, you know, I mean, if you really hate this... <laughs> You can let us know there in a meaningful and impactful way. Thank you so much to the people who support us on Patreon to yes. m- make us do these things. We appreciate it. I am extremely grateful. I know it might not seem like it since we decided not to beat the game, <laughs> but we really are uh, pr- appreciative. Of- I'd like to think that you support us not so you can control us and tell us what to do, exactly, but because you enjoy the show, exactly. And we're gonna keep making we're gonna keep making no cat in one form or another. It's not over. <laughs> It, 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 tell a friend about the show. Tell you know, a friend. Now, if you have friends, they maybe aren't into video games, but yeah. they are into fishing. Right. You can tell them that you know an amazing fishing podcast. Yeah, you just have to get through a hundred some odd hours of Final Fantasy podcast. Otherwise, the fishing, Otherwise won't, make the fishing won't make any sense. <laughs> Oh, we forgot to say, if you want to support us on Patreon, go to patreon.com slash nocat. Mm -hmm. We've also got merch on Etsy that you can buy (laughs) the logo, t-shirt, and mug. We're going to have to get some lures or something (laughs) fish-themed. Keep an (laughs) eye out on the Etsy page for more merch. This is a hard transition. I'm not sure how to do this. (laughs) (laughs) A left turn. Get in touch with us on Facebook and Twitter with your thoughts at nocat (laughs) podcasts. (laughs) <laughs> we'll be fielding questions and comments, I assume, in those places. Mm-hmm. I hope you all relate. With that, here's a little no one can know about this <laughs> dessert. Enjoy! <Whoa. laughs> Fuck. <laughs> There's some cool stuff coming up in FF2. Pres- I mean, in quotes. Like, Leviathan might make an appearance. Cool. I kind of like this, like, you know, you put a white mask on the statue in town and then the black mask gets you past a doppelganger in the cave and then you go to the tower with a crystal rod you fight leviathan and then you unseal the forbidden magic ultima you know at the top of that tower yeah god and then there's more